The mission of the engineering product development pillar is to prepare students for success and leadership in the conception, design, implementation, and operation of technology-intensive products whose development cuts across many fields. The product sectors that are currently addressed are electronics, energy, machinery, and transportation. The pillar is characterized by collaboration and multidisciplinary interaction, a commitment to educational research excellence, by scholarship and the application of the scholarship to products and to product development, and by strong engagement with industry. The mission statement says a number of things, but the items important to entering students might be, we want to give our students the skills to rise to the top of the profession, we're concerned with the overall product development cycle, we're collaborative, we work across disciplines, we apply engineering principles in ways that are relevant to real-world problems, and we're engaged with industry in a substantive way. The name of the pillar is Engineering Product Development because products we aim at have a substantial engineering content. The educational goals for the pillar are as follows. First, educate undergraduate students to master a deep working knowledge of the technical fundamentals. Second, educate engineers to lead in the creation and development of new products and of new methodologies for this creation and development. And third, educate engineers to understand the importance and the strategic value of their work. The placement of the first goal, which is a deep working knowledge of the fundamentals, is not accidental. The technical fundamentals come first. In this regard, there's similarity with mechanical or with electrical engineering departments. The other two goals, however, go beyond this. The former recognizes the need to prepare students for a career in engineering, and it drives the necessary learning related to personal and interpersonal skills. The latter embeds the research and technology in a broader social, economic, and sustainability context of products and of product development. Design as a theme is implemented in three ways. One is through specific subjects that address design, such as the freshman design subject, the capstone subjects, and design subjects within the pillar. A second way is through project-based learning in the disciplinary subjects. A third is through interests and activities of the faculty in design and in product development. Interdisciplinary aspects are fostered in several ways. There will be two tracks within the pillar that students can opt for. There are several subjects in the pillar common to these tracks. And these subjects will be taught from a perspective that includes examples which cover different disciplines. A second way is that there is opportunity and encouragement to take subjects in other pillars. Third, the goal is to have the year-long capstone project be an integrating experience involving a project that cuts across disciplines and includes students from other pillars. In other words, an experience that gives a precursor of the environment that pervades modern engineering practice. Engineering product development pillar graduates will be prepared for industrial positions in engineering product development broadly, for careers in consulting, as well as for graduate academic programs in electrical, mechanical, and related engineering disciplines. The theme of conceive, design, implement, and operate, which is the product life cycle, is woven into the curriculum in the content and in the way that in which the material is taught. Both what we teach and how we teach reflect this overall context. These impact student learning and student development in a major way.